Welcome to this next uh, video on our series, Understanding Healthcare, where we're trying to explain air and provide a little bit of clarity around some contested terms and some we may not understand fully. I have with me today, fortunately, Helanya Furi from uh, Econex. If we start right at the beginning, Helanya, what, what is the difference between CPI, Consumer Price Index, and healthcare inflation? So, Mark, I think you're right. Let's start at the basics. Um, CPI is essentially a basket of goods or an index reflecting a basket of goods that a typical household would spend its income on. It okay. includes different elements such as um, housing and utilities, uh, food and non-alcoholic beverages, transport. Um, those items together already account for about 60% of the basket. Healthcare expenditure in this basket only accounts for 1.5%. So it's a very small proportion of a household or of what a household typically spend its income on. Mm. One of the reasons for this is that medical scheme contributions are not included in the health care proportion oh. of the CPI basket. Uh, medical scheme contributions is included in a different subsegment of this basket. I think it's under miscellaneous goods and services. Mm. Um, so when we speak about healthcare inflation, we're typically only looking at that 1.5% of the CPI basket. So why then isn't CPI a good measure of what's going on in healthcare? Is it just because there's a misrepresentation or should it be a completely different calculation altogether? I think the reason is that the the things that typically drive increased costs in the economy and hence also an increase in the CPI um, basket are very different from the things that drive an increase in healthcare costs. Mm -hmm. Healthcare costs, for instance, would be influenced by uh, volatility in the exchange rate um, mm -hmm. due to imported equipment or pharmaceuticals, um, nursing salaries, salaries, things like that. Um, mm -hmm. Whereas the things that drive um, other elements in the basket, perhaps the fuel price, would not necessarily have such a big impact on healthcare inflation as such. Mm. So the, the implication then is if we keep on using CPI to look at healthcare costs, we are getting a very distorted picture. Yes, is that correct? yes, absolutely. So CPI is not the correct instrument to understand what drives increases in healthcare expenditure. Mm. Um, it's so, so what, what, is the South, what is the South African situation, uh, the comparison between the two, and, and maybe just, you know, with, with the global situation as background, how, how does it look? What is the picture? So globally, the rule of thumb is that healthcare inflation is about two or three percentage points above headline inflation um, or the change in CPI. Mm. Um, this has also been the case in South Africa over the long term. Uh, we did some research where we estimated that healthcare inflation fluctuated between about 4 and 10% between 2003 and 2014. Mm. Um, there have been times when healthcare inflation have actually been below um, headline inflation, um, but in general it's about uh, 2 to 3% above. Okay, now. Globally, I just want to, to, to get my head around this. Globally, it's about 2 to 3% above. Are we talking about developed, undeveloped countries, just, or is this just a global picture? Uh, that's a general global general picture. picture. Yeah, I can't, I can't disagree. Now, with that uh, you, you put out a report where you are unpacking inflation, uh, I think in 2015. And in that report, uh, your calculation was that between 2003 and 2013, uh, healthcare inflation was 0.81% above headline inflation. Have I got that right? Um, I think you do. I think one needs to remember that that's a long-term view, or a medium-term right. view at least. Right. So during that time, there were times or periods when healthcare inflation was below um, headline inflation. So, so despite all these other things that we mentioned, ESCOM going up 300% uh, since 2004, nursing salaries, we're locked into a, uh, I mean, salaries are set in the public sector and the agreement is CPI plus one until 2018. Uh, so despite all of those rises, healthcare inflation has stayed conservatively within the global picture. It's compared well. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I think, I think again, it's important to remember how healthcare inflation is compiled. Mm. Um, so 
it, it consists about 50-50% of a household's expenditure on medical products mm -hmm. um, and medical services. Mm -hmm. um, and in that basket, expenditure on hospital services is actually a very small proportion, primarily because if you rely on the public sector, you're typically not paying or paying very little for mm -hmm. your hospital expenses. Mm -hmm. Um, and if you rely on the private sector, uh, that, that expenditure is included in your medical scheme contribution and mm. will not be reflected in, your, um, your in, in the health care basket in mm. the CPI. So the big take out from, from this, Helenia, is if we continue to use CPI to understand what is going on in healthcare, then we are not looking at the proper question. My last question for you is, why then aren't journalists, stakeholders, do they have an index? Is there an index? Do they know how to calculate healthcare inflation? Or is that something that should be still created for them? No, I think you can, you can find an estimate of healthcare inflation by looking at healthcare expenses in the CPI basket. Um, I think people aren't always very familiar with how inflation is estimated or calculated. Mm -hmm. People know the term, but the underlying nitty-gritty parts mm. of it is often, I think, perhaps misunderstood. Okay. Um, so there's, there's value in disaggregating and really understanding, um, well, firstly, the difference between headline inflation and healthcare inflation and understanding what components make up each of these indices, essentially. Helena Furry, thank you very much. The key point is, don't look at CPI. It's not an accurate picture of what's going on in healthcare inflation. Absolutely. Thank you very much.